let's talk about posture and the importance of posture. And that's your angles to the ground and that's you bending forwards from your hips. Okay. Okay, keeping the lower and mid part of your back nice and straight, a little bit of curvature towards the top of your back there, your cervical spine, that's okay because your head's angled a little bit down to look at the ground. So we're not trying to get this, you know, the neck spine straight, that can have some curve, okay? So I'm gonna use this doorway, I'm gonna resume my iron whip stance. For all the short guys out there, you're not gonna be able to tip forwards as much as me, so, if you use the doorway here and use this vertical line to reference how much you bend forwards from your hips, it should be about 30 to 32 degrees of bend forwards from the hips, okay? So you can use some, you know, a video analysis program, draw, get a line angle tool, and you can measure your posture just using your phone. Really simple. So, just so you can get good posture to start with, shoulders back, shoulders down, back straight. Just important here with your pelvis that you haven't got any, any tilting issues in your pelvis. Too much tilt when that's anterior, that's buttocks up to the sky. Too much of that is gonna get a big arch in the lower lumbar, that's gonna create, create some back issues and back pain. And too much posterior tilt, which is buttocks down to the ground is going to get like a C shape in your spine and create this curvature in the lower and that's going to cause back issues as well. So just check that you can fit your fingers there just in the lower part of the spine just so you've got a tiny arch that means you've got a good neutral pelvis tilt angle. Okay so resuming the stance width we're going to hinge forwards from the hips without any knee bend okay we're not squatting we're not bending down to pick anything up we're going to bend forwards from the hips so about 32 degrees. And then I'd like you to just push your knees over your shoelaces as you're bent forwards, okay? So now you can feel that the weight is on the balls of your feet. Really, really important that you get the weight balance here, okay? And not that you're sitting on your heels here, or not that you're bent forward so much that you're on your toes, okay? We're really trying to get the weight on the balls of the feet. So you can rock backwards and forwards and feel where the balls of your feet is, so where they are, and then you can tip forwards from the hips, flex the knees a little bit, lean forwards in the ski boots so your shins are pushed forwards towards your shoelaces a tad. Okay, so there we go. So we're in good posture there. If you're a little bit taller, just be aware of how much you do tilt. Okay, and you can see my head is away from the doorway here. About 32 degrees is a good angle. I might just go just up to the doorway, which is ideal for me. Get my balance on the balls of my feet. Let my arms hang down. And then I'm in a really good position. So what I can do here is then rotate my upper body and start to create that motion that moves the club away. Hands, arms, upper body rotating to move the club away, so I can practice that. If you're a bit shorter, just come forwards once you set your posture, get your head on the doorway there, and then what you can do is start to actually do a full rotation of your body with your head over the doorway, and what that's gonna do is gonna create a good tilt across the shoulders here, so you're getting good bend into the side of the body, and a good rotation of the rib cage and the spine, and let your pelvis go round as well, as you're doing these rotations. Really good to get a, these angles and your incline to the ground correct, and that's gonna allow you to really control the low point, the bottom of the swing arc. Okay, so you can practice this, and I tend to try and feel when I'm making a backswing rotation, that I'm shifting into my right heel, feeling a bit of weight pressure on my left toe, feel my right heel going into the ground, almost like I can take my toes off the ground. And then as I start my downswing, 
shifting across to my left side and then from my left toe sort of pushing back into my into my left heel okay so that's really good i've also got a little plastic fork just for posture and when you set into position before you take the club away turn turn your head to the right to aid that backswing rotation so So you can practice with that against the doorway. A little bit of head tilt and rotation. We've got posture and we've got rotations of the body. So there's your training today. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.